we would like to send a big thank you to everyone on this screen. Nicholas Sumter was too kind as he chose to bless us beyond measure. Lori Anderson also showed up with a very generous gift as well. We are still in the process of making new content for you to go along with these messages so please be patient. Enjoy the episode. I say God came in to the situation. Praise the name of my God. And you better stop acting cute. Praise on trying to look Presbyterian and trying to look Catholic. Those are the folks who enslave you. You need to thank Pentecostal, honey. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. You need to act Pentecostal and shout until your shoes drop off. And praise him until your mouth get tired. Turn with me to the book of Genesis. Chapter 27, and you'll find these words recorded. Verse 40. I'm sorry, verse 39. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shall thy live, and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the, the dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Subject, it isn't my fault that God has chosen to bless me. It isn't my fault that God has chosen to bless me. Say it with me. It isn't my fault that God has chosen to bless me. birthright to Jacob. And though he was sorry and repented, he could not retrieve his birthright, for he gave it away under oath. Though he sought it again with tears, he could never retreat it. Here is the continuous of the thought that Jacob was God's choice of a man, of a person to be blessed. He was God's choice. Esau was his father's choice. One is man's choice and the other is God's choice. Now man can bless you. He can loan you money. He ain't gonna give you much. and he want it back. He will do you some favors and he wants something in return. Whenever man blesses another, most of the times there are strings 
attached to those blessings. And they are retrievable. Man will put you up and he will also take you down. Man will give you an honor and he will take it from you. Man can do many wonderful things for man and he can retrieve, he can take back, he can renege. But when God blesses, it's an eternity. It isn't for one day or for a week or for a month or for a year. It's for eternity. He won't come back and take Because you don't like him. If God ever loves you, that's for eternity. When you are in God's favor, that's an honor. Because you're going to be blessed. Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. He hated him and swore I kill him. For 40 years from this date that he made this statement, he worked day and night to avenge himself, to hurt his brother, to destroy Jacob. He raised an army purposely to destroy Jacob, built an empire to destroy Jacob. What did Jacob do knowing that his brother has sworn to kill him? What did he do? He prayed. He didn't raise an army. He didn't prepare himself to fight. He saw on the battlefield, he prayed, and he walked with God, knowing that his brother is under an oath to kill him. Jacob made the right choice. If you got an enemy, don't get a gun the way he has. You can defeat him without a 45. You can defeat him without a double bell shotgun. Thank you, Jesus. Jacob went to his knees, for God took him to his knees. The Bible say he wrestled with God. Hallelujah. He didn't just pray, he wrestled with God. You know what wrestling means. You grab somebody. Praise the Lord. And you attempt to throw that person to the ground. Wrestle them to the ground. Help. 
Jacob wrestled with God. Esau came with an army. It's a good thing to know certain things about God. You can't know it all, but some things you need to know. And that is, number one, I'm chosen to be blessed. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here in the house of God if I wasn't chosen to be blessed. If I wasn't chosen to be blessed, I'd still be out there where I used to be. My being in here is not my choice in the first place. I'm not saying because it was my choice. I'm saying because he called me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wasn't looking for him. He came looking for me. I'm his choice. Hallelujah. You are his choice. And as you sit here in the house of God, knowing that your being here is not your choice, had it been left to you, you'd still be a sinner. Hallelujah. But he wouldn't leave you alone. Travel your sleep. Bothered you in your sleep. Trouble your spirit. Didn't let your spirit have no rest. Trouble your mind. Mind couldn't find no peace. Trouble your environment. Hallelujah. And there you were. With by God because you was his choice. Thank you, Jesus. I know I'm special. I don't think it. I know it. I know I'm special. Hallelujah. I didn't get an invitation to Washington for the inauguration, but I got an invitation to the inauguration in glory. Mm -hmm. That's how special I am. When they have the carnation in glory. And the decision is made to crown somebody. King of kings, Lord of lords. Anybody can't go up there. <laughs> Only people who have a special invitation. Oh, praise the Lord. I got a feeling somebody around here got an invitation. Yes, sir. Woo. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. I get excited thinking about it. Woo, glory. Just think about it. All these special folks. Chosen by God to be blessed. <laughs> Chosen by God to receive something special. Receive something that man can't give you. Receive something that 
the devil can't take. And Esau can't take it either. And there are people who want your blessing. Even the devil wants your blessing. Although he can't use it, he don't want you to have it. Because if he took it from you and used it on himself, he wouldn't be Satan no more. He'll be a tongue speaker. <laughs> Ooh, glory, but he sure don't want you to have it. Because the blessing that the Lord has given you makes it possible for you to know who the devil is. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Make it possible for you to even smell it when he come around. Make it possible for you to discern him when he come around. Make it possible for you to even see him before he get there. The Lord will show it to you in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Honey. Let you know he's coming against you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But because you were special, because you were special, nothing, and I mean nothing, can take your blessing. Oh, hallelujah. Even though Esau painted Jacob and saw, I'll kill you. No matter what the enemy is sworn to, he can't pull it off. He can't pull it off. Everything that he cook up against you, God is going to make a blessing out of it for you. Every trick he tried to play on you, God's going to get in the trick, make a miracle out of it for you. Hallelujah. Every game he tried to play, God's going to get in it. Make it a blessing for you. Read the Bible. He cooked up the fire furnace thing. He cooked up the lion den thing. He cooked up the destruction of Paul to prevent him from getting to Caesar. He tore that ship apart. Broke it up in little pieces out there in the midst of the sea. And God Almighty, in spite of the fact, Satan tore up the ship. And according to reason and understanding, everybody has got to be drowned. And in the midst of that chaos, God told Paul, tell everybody, ain't nobody going to drown. Oh, hallelujah. Tell everybody, just hold on to whatever you can get your hands on. Just hold on. Oh, do you hear me, saints? Whatever you can get your hands on, hold on. Woo. If you haven't got nothing but a prayer, hold on with a prayer. If you haven't got nothing but a song, hold on with a song. If you haven't got nothing but a testimony, hold on with your testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With what you got, the Lord is going to see you through. Whatever it is, you say, well, I haven't got nothing. The Lord will throw your rope and say, hold on. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, 
bless his name. It isn't my fault <laughs> that I'm chosen to be blessed. <laughs> it isn't my fault that the Lord watches over me. <laughs> it isn't my fault that he walks beside <laughs> oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise his name. Jacob says to Esau, Don't blame me. You sold your birthright, you gave it up. <laughs> I got it rightly, I paid you for it. You didn't want it, but I did. You didn't want this Holy Ghost, but I did. You didn't want it because you didn't like the tongues in it, but I did. You didn't want it because the noise that comes with it, but I did. You didn't want it because of all of the shouting and praising God, but I did. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It isn't my fault that I'm chosen. And the Lord gave me the Holy Ghost. I wasn't looking for him. No, I wasn't looking for him. I had my plans. I was going to be a Casanova. <laughs> Believe it all. That was my plan. I was met with some of the young sisters in the church. Praise God, they was in the sanctified church and I was in the Methodist church. And they told me they couldn't talk to me because I was a sinner. I get you. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
I stopped going around those 65 girls because I felt something was, they were trying to wham in me or something. Thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, yes, he has. Thank you. That's why the devil is fighting your soul. Because God got something for you. And he got something that the devil can give you. A blessing that nobody but God can give you. Got your name on it. Address to your house. Thank you, Jesus. And a special delivery man have been told to give it to you. How about that? Thank you, Jesus. God blesses the one he has chosen to be blessed. And no matter how much the devil fights you, you know certain things about God that indicates to you that you are the chosen one. Number one, you wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for the fact that God has chosen you to sit here tonight and get this message that there's a blessing coming down the trunk line. Ooh, there's a blessing that's coming down the trunk line. And it has your name on it. Esau is going to try to keep you from getting that blessing. Esau is going to try to block your blessing. Esau is going to try to discourage you and stop you from praying and waiting for your blessing. Esau is going to try to disturb you mentally physically and spiritually to keep you from getting your blessing. But remember that certain things in the book written by people that God chose to bless. And they have told us what to do in times of crisis. In times that we don't know what to do, they told us how to react and how to adjust ourselves to wait until the blessing comes. Oh, glory. One writer puts it this way, they that wait upon the Lord, yes, sir, shall renew their strength. Anybody who is waiting on God is waiting for something. Anybody that's waiting on God isn't just waiting for one thing because when you're waiting for one thing, God sent 10 other things along with the one thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You might say I'm waiting for a husband. Before the husband get here, God sent some other things. He sent patience. Praise the Lord. He sent long suffering. Uh huh. He sent endurance. He sent mellowness. He sent spiritual depth, spiritual height, spiritual width. Along before the big blessing comes. So when the big blessing get here, you got a blessing with everything that goes with it. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So they that wait upon the Lord. Somebody got to learn how to wait. Yes, sir. Somebody got to dig in and say to the wind, you can blow if you want to. You can rock my ship if you want to. You can rock my life if you want to. I know God is able. I know, I know he's able to do this thing. I know he's able to change this situation. I know he's able to move 
this mountain, fill up this valley. I'm no God is able. Hallelujah. It's in my heart. It's in my soul. You can't move me. You can't rock me. You can't make me backslide. I'm in the pipeline. I'm chosen by God. Hallelujah. You can't make me doubt it. I know too much about it. You can't make me doubt it. Because I got a witness. If I haven't got one in the house, I got one upstairs. Yes, I have. I got a witness to what I feel. I feel in my heart. I feel it in my soul. I feel it in my bones. If I hang in here a little while longer, if I hang in here a few more days, if I hang in here a little while longer, if I can hold out, if I can hold out, if I can hold out, hallelujah, I know my deliverance is coming, if I can hold out a little while longer, I'm going to shout the victory, if I can hold out a little while longer, I'm going to go on cloud nine, if I can hold out, a little while longer, I'm gonna tell the devil you are barefaced and lying. The Lord chose me, and I'm gonna get my blessing. The Lord chose me. He didn't choose you. He chose me. And say to you liar, you old ugly creature, demon of darkness, you're trying to rob me. I know I got it coming. I know I got it coming. I know I got it coming. I just know it. I know what I know. I know what I know. I know what I know. And I know that my Redeemer, Leo, I know victory is mine. I know, I know, I know everything. Everybody in the house. Why are you all emotional? In your faith, in your spirit, put your arm around somebody and say, it is my fault because I'm gonna be blessed. Thank 
of Jesus. Now that's one smile. The devil can't wipe off my face. I got a victory smile.
know, but before you go, I got to know. I got the victory. Kept on wrestling. The daylight broke. The angel told the chicken, I got to get out of here. Daylight is coming. Uh-uh. No way. I don't care if the sun rises. If you don't want the sun to rise on you, then bless me. Because I ain't going to let you go nowhere until I know I got the victory. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And do you not know, as he wrestled me, as he wrestled, that angel gave him the door. Hallelujah. And told him, man, you bless. You bless. And he loosed him. And he let him go. And here comes Esau. With this army. Jacob took his wife and children. Servants hit him in the bush. Hit him in the bush. Stood out there by himself. He saw King up Jacob. Where's your army? Like an invisible army. <laughs> Who are you talking about? God. He's all around. Angel Lord is in camp. Around about those who fear him. Jacob said, I'll show you. I mean, Esau said, I'll show you who is in camp around you. He walks up to Jacob with his sword drawn in his hand to cut his head off and feed him to the buzzards. And as he walks up to Jacob to take his head off, God Almighty disarmed Esau. The sword in his hand fell out. And God made the devil wrap his arms around Jacob and kiss him. The Lord will make the devil love you. The next time you meet me in this hallway, 
being bad to die. Now, we, I have to come in the same door he come in because we both live upstairs. The next time you meet me in this hallway, be prepared to die. Told me to my wife. My wife told me to use the back door. Thank 
Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Don't let the devil fool you tonight. Don't let him cheat you. Don't let him rob you of this golden opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. He took us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. 